I got my drink. We're in a new session. I've got a vaguely Native American looking shirt on or something. Let's do this. Alright, so I've got my notes. But they're ordered in the only way that made any sense. Uh which is to do them by number. And I've and I I fit them almost perfectly on one page. Or one span. One spread. It, there's one mis there's one issue here, which is that every single one of them is on a new line except this one. This one is on a line after bold. That's the only way to make it fit. It was that close to fitting perfectly. As far as I can tell, these are all of the referred to lines, and I put them in the order by their number because alternatively, I would be trying to come up with some kind of order based on like when I f when and where I found them. But I found them via one hub world and two separate side worlds that you could. I believe explore non-linearly, so I've gone with this for now. Uh, let's see here. The door lies at the end of the path. The passing of time gives the path to the gathered. Be still, and the path will be made known. The action of the gathered means nothing. Darkness makes the righteous humble and the evil bold. Seek the path of the shell. Take time to understand the path of the shell. The path of the stone is toil for the gathered. The number of the watcher is 625. Okay, that's just an explicit clue. The way is made clear at the end of time. The future is always revealed to those who wait. Rest in the light. The gathered will find rest when the light comes. Roll the stone to know the deceiver. The path is folly for those who toil. Huh. So that, there's actually a lot of repetition overall. I haven't, I hadn't, I was reading them while I was going, but I wasn't reading them after I reordered them. I kind of thought that maybe if I reorder them, they might start to make sense, but that seems to be a dead end. It's kind of just talks in circles and kind of repeats the same idea a lot. They say that darkness makes the righteous humble and the evil bold, and it says the gathered will find rest when the light comes. Rest in the light. There's a lot of references to waiting. Waiting and standing in the light. Blah. The path of the shell. Let's start at the beginning of where I found the shell. Should be like the hub world location. Yeah, that's the one. The shell. You'll be interesting. So I'm supposed to rest in the light. Conceptually, I've like defeated these two areas, right? On some level, at least. This was the guy just talking about the tree and whatnot. So somewhere there's got to be a tree I'm going to find. There's an explicit reference to, to rolling the rock. Rolling the stone. Let's see. Roll the stone to know the deceiver. The path is folly for those who toil. Are you saying... That rolling the stone makes you the deceiver? I don't know. I'm thinking it's the, I'm thinking that this all builds up to being the solution of this place. It starts a timer. I mentioned rolling the stone, but I don't know if that really amounts to much. I think I'm going to go back down and turn it off and back on or something. Because it does shine a light on me and starts a timer. I'm kind of thinking that I have to turn that light on and then just don't move. And then stand there for a long time. Until something happens. And the path is, re is, re is revealed or something. Couldn't you go all the way in before? Maybe not now that I've turned it on or something. 
I don't know. They only give me, they only give reference to a number once, right? The number of the Watcher is 625. The path of the stone is the toil for the gathered. Roll the stone to know the deceiver. The gathered will find rest when the light comes. The action of the gathered means nothing. So the path of the stone is toil for the gathered and the action of the, of the gathered means nothing. Be still and the path will be known. It sounds like pushing the rock is pointless and doesn't do anything. All right, so it's back again. Let's go into third person. I think you're supposed to just click on this and wait. All right. Oh, wait, I should start- I should start a timer. I should start a timer. I'm gonna be late, but whatever. Uh, stopwatch feature on my phone, go. Hey! Almost perfectly synced with when the boulder landed back down here. Alright. So, give or take some margin of error of how long it took me to actually start the timer, because I didn't think to do it at first. We'll just wait here for a while and see if something changes. Ah, 625. If that's the number of seconds I need to wait... And that's ten and a half minutes, isn't it? I guess I'll just read the book. Uh, I missed the Book of Atris. I'm currently 134 pages in. I get distracted very easily from this book. Mainly because nothing happens in it. <laughs> Maybe something will eventually happen in it. But I'm like halfway through the book now and nothing's actually happened really. Uh, this is compounded by the fact that I'm playing the game that takes place in the, the Denis City. So playing a game that's all like, reading a book that's all like, check out the Denis City. I'm like, yeah, I know, I get it. But halfway through the book so far and all that's really happened is Atreus was abandoned at childbirth when Gen's wife died in childbirth. So he, so Atreus was raised by Tiana. And then at like the age of like, I don't know, like 14 or something. After being taught the uh, the ways of the scientist, the uh, the uh, the human scientist, and like doing experiments and learning important things, and you know just being a really cool dude generally, and making mistakes and doing experiments and do increasingly dangerous experiments and just having a wild time, his his dad comes back at like the age of fourteen, get, and Gen's like, "I'm taking you away from this bullshit place. This this woman's ruining you." And I'm like, "All right, this guy's great, great." I mean, I already know he's the villain of the second game, but, you know, it's only bound to get worse in the book. Uh, and he takes Atris away down to the city that this game has largely been taking place in. And makes him study the Denis letters for, like, six weeks. And just, like, is largely just being an absentee father, giving Atris tasks to do while he, while he conducts to his own experiments. And he really doesn't seem that interested in being a parent in general, but he's just a real spiteful shit all the time. And he's really angry at Tiana, which is revealed halfway through the book as to why. Uh, he blames Tiana for the downfall of the entire Denis race, which, um... It's really not a fair thing to levy on anyone, really. That seems like a douchey thing to do. Also, if, if one human is responsible for the downfall of all of the, the, the Denis as a concept, then maybe they sucked. And judging by every Denis I've ever heard about, basically, besides maybe some of Atris's family, uh, the Denis just seemed to suck anyway. Uh, Gen is a real, is just a real douchebag. Uh, he thinks of himself as a god, literally. Let's see. Like, really non, like, really straight up. Oh yeah, it's when, uh, this is when, uh, Gen is describing how linking books work and stuff like that. Atris laughed. It sounds like magic. And so it is. But you and I are Denis, and so I shall share a secret with you. We are not ordinary, and ordinary men, Atris. We are gods. Gods? Atris stared back at his father, bewildered. Yes. Gen went on fervently, his eyes lit with passion Atris had never seen before. Common men but dream and wake. We, however, can live our dreams within limits. Limits that the finest Denis minds took care to define over the millennia. We can create whatever we can visualize. 
We use words to conjure worlds. He's just so fucking full of himself. And so he... But then he goes on to talk about how Tiana collapsed the entire... Apparently destroyed all of Denis. And it's like, wow, one human destroyed an entire city of gods? It's almost like they just weren't fucking gods. And they're a bunch of vain assholes that thought they were better than everybody. And had a really shitty structure. Eh. Well, I'm wondering how... I can't help but wonder, to some extent, if there's so much resources and so on, and the ability to warp between different worlds and whatnot. Like, why was there even classes in Denise society? Why were there have-nots in a society that has so much? I say knowing that that's how a lot of modern world is like, too. We got this little exchange between Gen and Tiana during their, uh, when he's planning on taking Atris away. Saying that he's uh, claiming that he's returning right at the age where he struck off on his own. And he's come back so that he can teach Atreus. You? Who better? I am at least educated to the task and I am his father. You did tell him about me. She looked away, tightness in her face. You mean you told him nothing? Kerath, damn you woman, how could you? And what was I to say? That his father left the very hour he was born? That he didn't even care enough to name him? I would have called him Atris, you know that. B yes, but you didn't. I did. Yes, and I raised him. Me, Gen, not you. And now you want him back. As though he were a parcel you'd left with me for safekeeping. Boys aren't parcels, Gen. They're living, growing things, and Atris hasn't finished his growing. I shall decide that. He can help me with my studies, be my assistant. Your assistant? In my researches. I have need for a willing helper, and the boy seems willing enough. Researchers into what? Into Denis culture. The Denis? Anna lift, laughed bitterly. All that has gone. Don't you understand that yet? No. You are wrong. That is where I have been these past 14 years, in Denis, researching, studying, seeking out the great and mighty secrets of Denis culture. I tell you, none of it was lost, it is still there. Then we got Tiana saying goodbye to Atris. Now listen to me, Atris. Atris looked up, surprised by how serious her voice suddenly was. Yes, Grandmother? Her dark, intelligent eyes searched his. You must remember what you have learned here, Atris. I have tried to teach you the mechanics of the earth and stars, the ways of science and the works of nature. I have tried to teach you what is good and what is to be valued. Truths which cannot be shaken or changed. This knowledge is from the Maker. Take it with you and weigh everything your father teaches you against it. I, am no, I no longer know him, but I know you, Atris. Measure your own deeds against the truths I have taught you. If you act for self-gain, then no good can come of it. If you act selflessly, then you act well for all, and you must not be afraid. Do what your father asks, but most of all, Atris, do not violate what's in your nature. Do you understand me? I think I do, Grandmother. Then I have no fears for you. All the pauses are me skipping chunks of the book, basically. Uh, cause I'm not, I'm not literally just gonna read the entire book out of here. Uh, basically the grandmother, despite all the attempts to turn you against her, and I don't know, the second half of the book still has to happen. Uh, she's the most heartwarming, likable character in the story. Uh, which is part, possibly why I'm slogging with the book so much, is that I'm halfway through the book, and half the book I've read so far has been Gen, and he's miserable, and I don't really like reading the story when he's in it. <laughs> like, it was a kind of a whimsical, fun little uh, intro with the grandmother, and the switch from the grandmother to Gen is just such a bummer that I don't really like it anymore, and I don't really want to... <laughs> like, I'm just not that big of a fan of this part of the story, and I'd rather just not, honestly speaking. Uh, but I'll get through it eventually. And then maybe the other ones, although I might switch to the, I might switch to the Dark Crystal books. I don't know. I have a lot of books. I have three Dark Crystal novels, three Mist novels, eight Witcher novels, 
And that's not counting the three graph this no. Eight graphic novels of Dark Crystal, three of which I've read so far. I got I got my backlog. I gotta get through all that before the, the Netflix series happens. So I'm all caught up on the weirdness that is the Dark Crystal universe, which is its own thing. Which honestly I kinda find more compelling. I'm not Here's the secret. This is the heresy. I'm not really into the, the Mist universe very much. I like playing the Mist games. I like the mechanical puzzles of here's this world. Try to solve it. Try to get from point A to point B. There's a bunch of problems in your way. Mechanical failings and whatnot. This thing and that thing uh, are broken down. This power needs to be turned on. Learn this language. Like those kind of tricks. Uh, looking up Bible verses sucked because that wasn't an interesting thing to solve. Because the, the part where you solve it is thinking, oh, I need to look up these numbers. That book, that entry. Okay, cool. That takes five seconds to solve in your head. But then the grunt work of actually doing so takes, like, ages. Uh, and, like, that kind of stuff sucks. But, uh, like, just figuring out this world and, like, reading journals in order to gather cl clues from said journals about how the world works so that you can figure out how to solve a particular mechanical puzzle in this or that jungle or spire or whatever. That stuff's neat. And I do, I am interested in the story of Atris and his children and his wife and so on. But I think a thing I struggle with with the idea of reading books about this universe is that I, the Denise suck. And I don't just mean what I mean normally, because I normally, when I say the Denise suck, I'm usually referring to the fact that they're just conceited shitbags, basically. Like, everything, every time you hear about a Denis character from the past, they're almost always just not great people, and their society is full of not great people, and it kind of feels like they deserved what they got. Uh, no, it's that the Denis is a boring... Their story is boring. They're a forerunner race. Wow. The most commonly used trope in all of fantasy literature, basically. Like, they're the Protheans. They're the forerunners, and so on. They're the, I mean, that it's just a really common, common, common thing. Like, almost every fantasy or sci-fi setting tends to have some kind of precursor race that is gone now, but left behind all this cool shit that you can try to figure out. Uh, so the Dnei are just inherently uninteresting. The only interesting thing about them is the books and how they work. But their, their whole culture and history is, like, so cookie-cutter that I don't know if I can read entire books about it. Ooh. 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 We've hit the point. <laughs> uh, it's all, it's, we're at like 14 and a half minutes, so I'm guessing that was... That might have been exactly 15 minutes. I don't know how much that I, I edited it out, actually. <laughs> uh, I... Actually, I might have covered more of that via the reading that I intended to. I, I was planning on skipping most of it. Should I be afraid? Should I move? Oh, shit. What do I do now? Roll the stone to know the deceiver. It's not gonna, like, undo itself, right? When I move? They wouldn't do that, I don't think. Oh, you're a ladder. That's why they all moved. So I can get past the stone. Okay. I get you. Do, 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 do not fall off. I guess actually it doesn't matter because I'm past the stone already. Whee! Oh no, yeah, I don't want to fall off because there's something up here. Hey there. What's you? But anyway, that's me going to the background of the mist stuff a little bit. Normally I'd feel weird about just saying shit that happens in books because spoilers and all that, but for a lot of you, I don't think a significant number of you guys are going to track down the physical books that make up the Denis backstory, or if you were going to, you probably would have done it already. Although, I guess you just have the power to skip that part if you really want, if you don't want to hear it. In fact, somebody would have skipped it anyway, because they don't want to watch me sit there for 15 minutes or whatever. But, uh, for those that are interested in hearing about it, I think it's interesting to go back. I'm specifically singling out the stuff that's 
backstory for Gen and Atris because that's building upon the main story of these games, at least so far. I find that stuff interesting. The problem is that the the major plot points uh, with Gen and Tiana and Atris so far are those pages I just said and a few other pages out of like 150 that I've read so far. There's the tree. Look at that. Found it. It's a tree. Like an abduction. I, I do wonder, is that an explicit reference? Hello. If I'd played abduction without having... If I had played Abduction first, would I have looked at stuff like this and been like, Oh, Like when the tree showed up. Because I played Abduction, I think, before I played any Mist games, didn't I? That was my intro to, to Cyan's games, essentially, aside from some childhood encounters with Mist. Because I definitely had been on Mist Island before, but I don't remember actually managing to leave Mist Island back then. Can't be the only one that immediately saw that, right? What did I just hear? Oh yeah, that was that balcony that looked out at the spot before. Maybe I need to walk along the path of the shell? Like, literally? Look at me go! Oh man, she hit a whole new octave, didn't she? Oh, yeah, it actually worked. <laughs> oh, hey, we're at mist. Am I in the... I'm in the chimney furnace thing that has the secret code on the back. Wait, is that... Oh... Um... Yep. This is mist. Where's the exit? Was it here? Oh no! Do I not to, do I not do I not get to go on to Mist Island? Ah, uh, you're gonna tease your on your MMO community with the prospect of maybe getting a Mist Island, but not really. So that's the red and blue books burned, right? To trap them? This was a photo, right? The shirt. There's a look. Is that Atrus's shirt? Is that what he was wearing in the end of the game? I don't remember. Huh. Huh. I'm probably supposed to solve this thing, right? Because this is this is the only remaining thing that's actually interactive. Everything else is just evidence of parts of this place, but you're here. Let's see. Are you a clue? Like one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's diagonal. 
by that much? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Because, like, there's clearly a border here, and then it trails off. That might be helpful. I'm not sure what to make of that yet. Hmm. Is it the top left corner or not? It looks like one, two, three, four, five, then over one. One, two, three, no, one, two, three, four, five. Then down one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't have a lot of faith in my ability to make this work. All right. I'm probably gonna have to adopt a new plan, right? Or is that the entirety of the dimensions of the whole thing? This looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, up and down. Yeah. This one's a really clean one. So, down one. It looks like the third one. And bottom, but over by one. <sighs> I was probably on the right path the first time, though, huh? I probably need to input them all. But now I can make sure. Make sure I can count them all out. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And dimensionally, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I can pretty truly place these now. So that is the top left one. And that's, yeah, diagonally up from the corner. And that's. That's down three. It looks like that. I can pretty much get rid of all these at this point. Am I losing track of where I am at all? Uh, this is the second one. That's up one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think so. So it's it's on the right of the center. One, two, three, four. But like it's up one, right? Yeah. Have I found them all is the question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just making sure I can tell where all eight intervals are, because it's kind of an uneven, sloppy drawing. So it is one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. There's like a horizontal between here, yeah? Yeah. So it's like one, two, three, four five, six. So it is five down. And then diagonally two from, so 
One, two, three, four, five. So it's four from the left, down two. One, two, three, four, down two. I'm checking various marker ones to see if they're in the same spot. Alright, so that's all of them. Did I miss one? Maybe. That wasn't very encouraging. I don't think pressing it did much of anything. That's pretty. Who do you think painted that in-universe? This does kind of bring home how much the Relto's designed to look like Mist Island. Hmm. I think we're, I don't know. I'm thinking we're going to go on tour for a little while. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to find like which one I'm missing.